When I was planning the film, I wanted to be as true to the Ray's experience and story as I possibly could. We have taken around about seven or eight years and telescoped it into 90 minutes. The events in the film, Starfish, um, follow something that happened to Tom and I and our immediate family, starting with a kind of car crash event which, or forest fire, or whatever analogy you want to use, um, where Tom very suddenly became ill. What eventually transpired was that he had pneumococcal septicemia. I was really strong. Um, uh, I was 38 years old, um, never been ill really a day of my life. Um, never went to the doctors. Um, just suddenly started being sick. The next thing I know is five months, four three months, months, three months later, and I wake up uh, in, in a hospital, and I, 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 I don't know what to say, but I had they, they'd obviously removed my arms. They'd removed my legs and all of my face from, um, from from about here down to my chin. Just who am I, where am I, how did I get here, why am I half a person? Um, what on earth has happened? At the time, we had a two and a half year old daughter called Grace and I was also eight and a half months pregnant with what would be my second child, Freddie. Um, so while everybody else was expecting the millennium, uh, actually our lives just completely turned over. There was a lot to recover, you know. Once I remembered all of that, um, I was like, I was actually kind of the, the luckiest guy in the world because I had that to go back to. And I had a, an awful lot to, um, it sounds, you, you, you know, in a kind of rocky sense, I had a lot to fight for, there was a lot to lose, because not only did I, was I married to the, the one person in the world that I wanted to be married to, I mean, like, the, you know, you, you, you talk about romance, you, you find that one person in the kind of, six billion in the world that you want to be with and that's what I'd found so I wanted to get that back but I also had two children here were two people who had every reason to fall apart and yet they were holding on to it and making their family work and I thought that was a, a story really worth telling if all films are about ordinary people doing extraordinary things then these were very ordinary people and by dint of what had happened to them, they were doing extraordinary things. He had to expose this story of a very brave couple of people. And he, by the time he'd gone through a few drafts, because he's a very thorough writer, um, I just, so heartbroken with the story, I thought everybody will want to know the story and see it and see how brave they've been. I read Starfish and fell in love. I mean, what more can you say? It's an extraordinary story and kind of one of those ones that got under my skin. Ros knows me very well. The script itself is, is brilliant and knowing when I was reading it that it, was, it, it is a true story, um, it, I just found it absolutely heartbreaking and uplifting and incredible that Nick and Tom have managed to overcome the most you know, difficult of obstacles and have stayed together and kept their family together and um, I sort of thought it was the most amazing love story I've ever read really. When, yeah, when, when love becomes something you have to work at, it's a choice and you're, the, the love comes from choosing not to walk away no matter how hard it is and this script details that beautifully and not just the script but their relationship, Nick and Tom's relationship yeah. in real life, it's, it's, um, it's a demonstration of what can be achieved if you want it. We had two incredible lead actors, uh, you know, Joe Froggett and Tom Riley were just outstanding. You could see it. 
I mean, you could see in the performance that they were really, they were doing something that was so unusual. Whenever you're on a job, you feel like maybe this is the one, this is amazing, this is fantastic. This could... There's been something weirdly unique about this. People are talking about the work at the end of the day. They're sort of coming up and they don't want to leave it behind because it's so fascinating. Put yourself doing things for Bill that are beyond the call of duty, they're not necessarily realistic, and somehow they get done. 173 scenes in 25 days, 600 odd takes, we only have one camera, so it's a big workflow and not at all possible without a brilliant crew. You just find yourself doing things for Bill that are beyond the call of duty, they're not necessarily realistic and somehow they get done. We had uh, th three weeks prep, which is fairly minimal for a film of this calibre, um, and a four week shoot, uh, to shoot what's basically a hundred minute feature film. Uh, it involves children and prosthetics and fantastic locations and action vehicles and stunts. So a challenge, but a really enjoyable one. I think I can say on behalf of everyone on the cast and the crew, um, everyone who was part of making the film, uh, what a privilege and a blessing we found it to have Tom and Nick's full support, to know they were behind us, but also to have them with us. They were around a lot um, and as everyone got used to them being part of the team, part of the family, Tom was doing body doubling for us, Nick was painting scenery, the kids were involved. It was an absolutely unique experience, I think, for many of us. I love meeting all of the actors, because um, they're just such, they're all so different, and uh, their experience and their perspectives are all, are all so kind of contrasted, and um, they're so talented. Um, all, all, also the technicians, you know, the, the people who bring all that, um, you know, technical experience to it are very exciting. It's like kind of uh, being, you know, being on an aircraft journey, but being with the pilots and uh, uh, being able to sit in with them and watch them. And, uh, it was just, just very exciting. I wish it had gone on for longer, really. To have to recreate some of the most difficult parts in people's life is, um, it can be intimidating and difficult for them to watch, difficult for us to do. Um, but. Uh, it's definitely been a blessing on the around because it's a constant reminder of what they've been through and it puts half of our normal trivial things that we worry about in day-to-day -day life into a real perspective. Because we're a small unit, everybody felt it was a... We were a kind of a family and we were kind of their family and we were gonna, we were gonna pull this film off and make it a good film for them. Being part of it, um, being there and just hanging around was important. Almost, uh, you know, it kind of, um, in a strange way, kind of completing a sort of healing process. And he's just turned around, you know, 15 years on, and has been just given us a, such a massive boost. And, you know, a huge amount of energy, the number of people who are involved, the amount of time it's taken to get this film made, it's just all kind of closed the loop around that 15 years, it's been incredible. I think it is, I think it's an amazing story and I think these two people are to be truly admired. What I hope people will take from it is, you know, awareness of um, disability, awareness of the people they love, awareness of being sort of grateful for the things that we all have that we take for granted and we're all guilty of that, including me. Um, and yeah, just that hopefully they do feel that it's a great love story and hopefully we've done we've done Tom Nick justice with the way we tell it. It still is a love story um, and I still feel the same way uh, even after all of the horrible things that we've had to go through. Um, it doesn't change. Uh, and it, I still feel that motivation. Here we are, you know, 16 years on, we're, um, we're still here. The grit that, the, the, uh, that made the pearl in the oyster, <laughs> it was a big bit of grit, so it's a big pearl. You can't 
you can't always be making a life a movie of your life forever, can you? It'd be nice though, wouldn't it?